Sorry? Floor open for our media to ask questions. Wonderful day that we have seen the Telugu trailer. We were waiting for it. So I just want to know first when you see the Telugu trailer, after a long time you're seeing this, what was your reaction like? First reaction I want to see. Uh, no, uh, yeah, this, this trailer I have seen before. We have worked on it as well. Uh, so the voices and all, um, I mean, it's very different than, it sounds very <laughs> different than the Hindi trailer, but um, we've made sure that the, the characters and the actors, their personalities are not lost. Even for my character, we tested at least 10 voices. And then that's how we got the voice. This girl who has done the voice for me is very good and she's completely doing justice to the visuals. And uh, largely, uh, Vijendra sir has worked on the trailer and he's um, you know, helped us with the language and everything. Uh, but it's very exciting. I always love the sound of Telugu a lot more. It's more empowering than Hindi, um, especially in um, you know, film of this nature. The way it rings is very, um, it's very cinematic, I feel. And I've seen Bahubali uh, in Hindi and in Telugu for that reason, uh, because it's, it just rings so much more uh, dramatic, <laughs> I would say, as opposed to Hindi. Uh, uh, so I'm very excited to see this. Any dialogue you have managed to talk in Telugu? I know it is a tough for you. Vijrendra sir, would you like to... One dialogue she can speak in Telugu of Mani Karna, if possible. <laughs> Sorry, saying to say Mani Karnika. Mani Karnika. Yeah, Mani Karnika. So, I mean, any Telugu dialogue? Any Telugu word have you tried? You say, I will repeat after you. <laughs> okay. Excuse me. Next, just Telugu dialogues in the movie. I'll make sure. Okay, that, that's good. So, next voiceover will be... She will be learning Telugu. Well, we would love to. Uh, sir is writing my next film as well. Mm -hmm. So we can have some, I mean, it, Sir can have some Telugu connection where I can speak. Uh, why not? Because in our films, uh, we show uh, a lot of te te Tamil and Telugu characters whose um, you know, background is that. So why not? <laughs> Hi, madam. Hello. Uh, what made you become a director for this movie? It was very accidental. Uh, I won't say that it was a very planned move. So the film was supposed to come in August first and then uh, we couldn't complete it till August and Chris has committed to the other project which is NTR I guess and uh, then he went ahead with that and he offered to do the remaining parts after Feb when he's done with this project. Um, but we as a team felt that we needed to release it in Jan. Um, so that was the decision taken almost like overnight. Um, initially it was a bit unsettling, but it, it became, uh, I mean, yeah, because he had done a great job and I just had to sort of follow what he had done. What you learned from this challenge uh, or this opportunity, from this opportunity? Well, I just love how team sort of stood together because it had to be done and whether it is uh, Vijendra sir or um, the entire team including Mr. Goenka and everyone, I felt that there was a lot of liking and a personal sort of um, ambition towards the film. Everyone had that, whether Shankar sir, everyone had uh, a very sort of a personal, like sir's daughter's name is Mani Karnika. I've been working for this film even before this team came on board, you know, even with another team I was working. Um, even Mr. Goyanka, he feels um, that this this project has to um, be given the best. So I felt that the teamwork and how how the team sort of stuck together and made it happen is, is what has been the most amazing experience. Did you continue this uh, journey as a director? Yes, uh, like I said, my next film, which I am directing, I have requested Sir to write. So hopefully we'll start work on that soon. Happy New Year, Happy New Year. Thank I you. hope uh, the year brings you a lot of success. Thank well, you. coming to you, Traila, I've just seen you. You were just playing like a toy with a knife and uh, the horse riding and all these things. How much time it took for you to learn all these things? It took me a lot of time. Um, to s I, I started with one sword and then I had to do with two and uh, horse stunts, um, all of that. Around two months training 
It took, yeah. Yeah. And what is the one thing you learned in your life with this film, especially with this? And what made you to choose this movie, or particularly this one? I think there are a lot of heroes uh, in our country who we have lost. And uh, uh, we have lost our culture, we have lost our history. And we don't show any responsibility or sensitivity towards that. Uh, so I feel that there are so many films come out of industry and we do not give any uh, respect or tribute to the ones who have given their blood for us. Um, and I think the ones who are uh, in the film, the, the team, everyone in the film feels a sense of, um, you know, feel obliged to bring these stories to people through cinema. Uh, so I felt not just Rani Lakshmi there are so many uncelebrated, unsung heroes. Um, especially from our country. Uh, so, so that was one reason. And besides uh, her being so popular, uh, it sort of makes for a very good uh, brand name as well because, um, because this is something you don't have to market much. Everyone knows about it. <laughs> First of all, congratulations, uh, Kanganaji. Thank you. For bringing Jansi Lakshmi Bhai's history to this generation. What is the toughest time or phase from script to first copy, you faced? Uh, there were many phases. I think the first phase was when my accident happened and I sort of you know, broke my forehead. That was one. And second, when um, I had to turn director and with the epic one, uh, I remember when uh, Kamal wanted, uh, Kamal sir had come to me first with the script. He suggested that time that you should maybe direct and I said with this proportion, with the magnitude of the film, I wouldn't want to do it. But when I had to, uh, I was a bit unsure about myself, um, that would I be able to do it? And I don't feel unsure about myself so often. So it was very difficult to deal with that phase. All right, in the interest of time, we'll have the last question for Mr. Kamal Jain, if anybody. Anybody raising the hands will pass in the mic. Yeah. Hi, all of you. Yeah. Mr. Kamal, uh, what do you think, uh, like a lot of uh, biopics and... So basically, uh, biopics are generally, if you see internationally also, uh, from Hollywood also, here also. Biopics are generally... Hello? So, uh, no, it's, uh, so biopics are generally, uh, if you see the success ratio, biopics are very, very, very high when you look at Oscars also. For a simple reason, because they are true human stories, you know, where we connect to uh, uh, to all the stories, because there is a story of struggle, story of success, and all those kind of things. So, at anywhere in the world, the biopics are very successful, and this is something which is mother of all biopics, you can call Mani Karnika, where you have so much of ups and downs, and uh, it's like a God-written script, you know. And Vijayendra Prasad Sar has written a phenomenal script, you know, a story in screenplay. And uh, when I approach uh, Vijayendra Prasad Sir, he says that I am only going to write because his daughter's name is Mani Karnika, so he's so close to the story. And then we got a very strong team in Prasun Joshi sir, Shankar Sanloy sir, and Kangana Ranaut herself, spearheading the whole the whole process. So I think we're very lucky to have one of the finest stories, one of the finest biopics uh, being uh, written and spearheaded by such a wonderful team. And uh, we're looking forward, uh, you guys must have liked the trailer, and we're now looking forward to release the film on 25th of January. So. Thank you. My, which we have not heard anywhere and you will be telling it in Hyderabad. <laughs> well, um, I think after Bahubali, if there is an action film, like a proper action film period or a drama like that coming out is Mani Karnika. Because we as, uh, as period films, we don't, we explore love stories or a revenge story or a drama like that, but we don't have too many action films. Um, I think probably it's a it's a biopic, but but there is a lot of action. I don't think people expect so much action as of now. So uh, that is one thing I would like to clarify here. And uh, for definitely the first woman action film.